crypto products and NFTs are unregulated and can be highly risky. There may be no regulatory recourse for any loss from such transactions. Why does the world need non-fungible tokens? Now with NFTs, the artist can say, when I sell it to you, I make some money from it. But when you continue to sell it to the next person or the next person or the next one, 5 to 10% of that still comes back to the artist. NFTs isn't just greedy people wanting to make money from one more thing on the internet. But what's happening now is the, the genuine use cases. You buy this because if you buy it, it's an access pass to a club. In a physical art gallery, a physical painting, artist's mind, understand that artwork, ko samajna, it's a completely different, amazing physical experience. But if you think about the pundits, then the future of art could be completely digital. Especially a new form called NFTs. Non-fungible tokens have taken the art world by storm and we are going to change the whole world. And we will talk about the cryptocurrency today. I am at Chatterjee and Lal, which is a beautiful art gallery in Mumbai, where we are going to discuss NFTs. Our special guest, Namit Portnis, who is in the whole NFT space. And we are going to help understand why NFTs, what NFTs, how NFTs, and should you care about NFTs? लेकिन उसके पहले दो नए काम आपको करने हैं। सबसे पहले पॉइंट्स विच के YouTube चैनल को सब्सक्राइब कर लीजिए। इतनी मेहनत कौन कर रहा है आपके लिए शो लेके आने को? And number two, यहाँ पे I बटन पे क्लिक कीजिए और आपको NFTs का एक प्रॉपर एक्सप्लेनर देखेगा। अभी कहीं मत जाइए, उसको अलग टैब में खोलिए इस वीडियो के बाद वो देख लीजिएगा। Let's jump into our chat with Namit. Namit Portnis is our guest today on Crypto Kranti, और मैं बेहद ज़्यादा excited हूँ to have Namit because ये crypto OG हैं, पिछले दो-तीन साल से ये मुझे सिखा रहे हैं। But most importantly, he's the founder of Asset Money, जो NFTs को पूरी तरह से revolutionise करने की कोशिश कर रहे हैं इस देश में and abroad. Lovely to have you, Namit. Absolutely the same. So, I have asked you a lot of questions personally, but for all the audiences, I'm going to ask this question. What is the need of NFTs? Why does the world need non-fungible tokens? Absolutely. In fact, that's something that I ask myself very often. And if uh, NFTs are not happening, then what is all this happening Whether NFTs are being sold as tickets, NFTs as music, this is not happening. Right? And that's what I ask myself. And the answer that is, no, this happens, right? Tickets were also being sold today, they were also being sold today. Songs were also being sold today, they will also be sold today. Art, we are in a beautiful gallery. Art is also being sold today, tomorrow will be. The beautiful part about NFTs is, because it sits on a beautiful blockchain technology, there are a bunch of additional aspects that you can add. So for an artist, they were also selling artworks before, they were also selling music before. But the first time that they would sell it to, let's say I sold it to you, then that art in a way belonged to you and then whatever you did with it, including aapne kisi aur ko bech diya, was completely your product. Now with NFTs, the artist can say, when I sell it to you, I make some money from it. But when you continue to sell it to the next person or the next person or the next one, 5 to 10% of that still comes back to the artist. Now that's incredibly empowering for the artist to be able to be a part of that. And this is because it's on the blockchain, it's very transparent. Everybody knows who gets how much. It flows back automatically. There is nobody in the middle who says, I will collect from everyone, then I will give you to you. The second one is, think about what it meant in the past if you were somebody who was creating something. Creating a piece of art or creating a community of people or creating anything. You could only get those people to participate who were in your geographical reach. Correct. Or people you knew. But with this, now it doesn't need to be bound by that if you are in Bombay, if you are in Delhi, then you can participate. And as an artist, geographical boundaries don't exist. But even as a community, you can now find people who are interested in things that you are. But they don't need to be in your neighborhood, in your city, or very often, even in your country. You have spent a lot of time in your career in traditional finance. I think you work with some of the biggest traditional finance companies. So, three years ago, why did you get into a builder in the NFT space? Why did you get into a builder? And how did that journey go? I spent a lot of time in finance. Like a lot. Almost over a decade. And what I was doing in that space was trying to figure out how you could take financial inclusion, the ability to collect payments, the ability to get a digital identity, 
to millions of people. Correct. I was literally doing that. And then about four or five years ago, I started realizing that a crypto wallet mm -hmm. for the first time was a beautiful instrument that anyone could own, but the wallet could hold multiple things. Mm -hmm. The wallet could hold your money. Mm -hmm. The wallet could hold proof of your identity. Mm -hmm. The wallet could be a key you use to open a door. The wallet now could you hold your documents, it could hold your savings, it could hold your investments. All of these could possibly sit mm -hmm. in a beautiful form factor, which is absolutely secure mm -hmm. as a wallet. And for the first time in the history, nobody was gatekeeping. Mm -hmm. But with a wallet, anybody across the country or across the world could set up a wallet, mm -hmm. find a way to do that and immediately participate. Mm -hmm. in all of these. Mm -hmm. I found that very interesting. Wow. Which is why I left from fintech and pure play this thing to say, this looks very powerful. Mm -hmm. If we can find enough safe ways to get enough people mm -hmm. onboarded into this space, mm -hmm. they will truly be able to explore new opportunities, right. find things that they otherwise wouldn't have right. access to, which is why I jumped from there to, uh, to this side. NFTs कि जो परिभाषा है वो तो हमने समझ ली लेकिन NFTs का भी एक मुझे लगता है एक क्राइसिस पीरियड थोड़ा सा चल रहा है 2022 में खास करके क्योंकि देखिए पिछले एक दो साल में गजब का बुल रन रहा है बिल्कुल क्रिप्टो की दुनिया में खास करके NFT की दुनिया में करोड़ों रुपए के ट्रांजैक्शंस हुए हैं बीपल जैसे इंसान जिन्होंने 60 70 मिलियन डॉलर के लिए वर्ल्ड्स मोस्ट एक्सपेंसिव एनएफटी बेचा है लेकिन सडनली अभी देख रहा है कि साल दर साल मतलब ईयर ऑन ईयर NFTs की ट्रेडिंग वॉल्यूम मैसिवली क्रैश हो गई है 60 70 जो ओपन सी सबसे बड़ा प्लेटफॉर्म है NFTs का उसकी ट्रेडिंग वॉल्यूम मैसिवली घट गई है तो इससे लोग सवाल पूछने लगे हैं कि NFTs इज इट जस्ट ग्रीडी पीपल वांटिंग टू मेक मनी फ्रॉम वन मोर थिंग ऑन द इंटरनेट और इज इट एक्चुअली सॉल्विंग अ प्रॉब्लम नंबर 1 इज ऑल थ्रू लास्ट ईयर अर्ली लास्ट ईयर टू मिड लास्ट ईयर टू अर्ली दिस ईयर Definitely, big bull run, mm -hmm. right? A bunch of people came in, bunch of people bought, and what you can see is that the number of wallets were fewer, the transaction sizes were higher, which means people were spending twenty thousand dollars, fifty thousand dollars, hundred thousand dollars to buy a single NFT. Mm -hmm. What's happening now is a very different behavior. Mm -hmm. So what's happening is, jo high ke peaks the, mm -hmm. wo kam ho gaye. Mm -hmm. But jo breadth hai, number of new wallets created every day. Number of wallets transacting thirty dollars, fifty dollars. That has massively increased. So what's happening now is the the genuine use cases. You buy this because अगर आप ये खरीदोगे, it's an access pass to a club. Okay, इसको मैं pause करके आपसे पूछना चाहूँगा genuine use cases. Sure. NFT अब तक मुझे लगता है एक थोड़ा उसको bad reputation इसलिए मिल गया है क्योंकि ये पिक्सेलेटेड प्रोफाइल पिक्चर ये जानवरों के एनिमेटेड चेहरे फिर चाहे वो बंदर हो या फिर वो बिल्ली हो यू नो आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट बोर्ड एपी ऑट क्लब और साइबर किटीज एंड कूल कैट्स और ऑल दिस पिक्सेलेटेड लो रेज यू नो आई मीन मेरे पल्ले बिल्कुल नहीं पड़ रहा है कि इसके लिए लोग हजारों करोड़ रुपए क्यों खर्च कर रहे हैं अभी आपने जो बोला कि मल्टीपल यूज केसेस इसमें जरा डीप डाइव कीजिए और बताइए ना कि एनएफटी इज एक्चुअली क्या यूज केसेस में यूज होते हैं नंबर 1 टुडे थिंक ऑफ व्हाट द म्यूजिक इंडस्ट्री लुक्स लाइक एन आर्टिस्ट मेक्स अ सॉन्ग जी द आर्टिस्ट लेबल ओन्स द राइट्स टू दैट सॉन्ग करेक्ट दे डू द हार्ड वर्क करेक्ट ऑफ डिस्ट्रीब्यूटिंग दैट सॉन्ग ऑन एवरी प्लेटफॉर्म करेक्ट सो यू विल फाइंड वो वही गाना आपको YouTube में मिलेगा Spotify में मिलेगा रेडियो पे मिलेगा गाना में मिलेगा रेडियो में मिलेगा व्हाटएवर राइट करेक्ट एंड देन डिपेंडिंग ऑन द प्लेटफॉर्म जितना ज्यादा बजेगा करेक्ट उतनी उसकी रॉयल्टीज अक्यूमुलेट होंगी करेक्ट वो लेबल के पास आएगी वो लेबल के पास आएगी उसमें से बिटवीन 10 टू 15 परसेंट गोस बैक टू द आर्टिस्ट बस द रिमेनिंग 15 परसेंट द नॉम अक्रॉस द ग्लोब इस 20 परसेंट द रियली गुड वंस गेट 20 परसेंट बैक नाउ देर आर अ बंच ऑफ आर्टिस्ट ग्लोबली � Daniel Allen, Little Nas, again somebody who we have heard in the past, uh, Pussy Riot, the brand from Russia, all of these guys have said there are two things we are going to do. I am going to produce a song. Uh -huh. The ability to get a song onto every platform is now fairly simple. So, we will make a song, it will go to all of these, but for a 100% ownership of that song, I am going to split that as 50-50. Mm -hmm. 50 stays with me as the, as the artist and the remaining 50% is split with 1,000 people who can buy an NFT for it. Wow. So there are two things that happen. 
if you love snoop dog correct you get to own a piece of music produced and out there by snoop dog okay number 1 two you need to put you have the ability to put money for it correct and contribute three if snoop dog's music does well to and me. he receives royalty 50% of that royalty is split across everybody who's contributed and of course like most virtual digital assets nfts bechne pe yahan 30% tax jo hai regular vds pe wo bhi us pe lagu hota right Absolutely. 30% and 1% tds at tds but one of the very real use cases that's happening in india right now is imagine you have a car mm-hmm. and you drive the car mm-hmm. for 10000 kilometers this year mm-hmm. there are a bunch of insurance companies who issue you a license every year mm-hmm. their assumption is ankit is a good driver mm-hmm. ankit will not crash his car and ankit will drive 25000 kilometers every year mm-hmm. uske basis pe i will tell you next year when you come for renewal have you claimed or no mm-hmm. and otherwise 20000 rupees is your insurance for an suv uh-huh. now there are companies in india which basically issue your car's performance uh-huh. as a digital asset they are called vehicular digital passports so think of it as a passport what? for your car but you know what the beautiful part is it's not you saying maine 7000 km chalaye it's the manufacturer saying that this car in this year has only driven 7000 km not 25000 with that passport now the insurer can say i will issue usage based insurance wow. i assumed you would drive 25 but you drove only 7 i don't need you to pay 25000 you can pay 15 wow it's happening in india at this point of time and these digital passports are actually nfts wow. but it's a very real world use case with usage based insurance and manufacturers being able to do this ye bahut tagda aur ye bahut powerful thought hai ye ek structure hai ek nayi rachna hai samaj ki creators yeah. ki ab isi thought ko aap le lijiye aur arijit singh ya neha kakkad aur gaane ko aap kisi bhi cheez se replace kar lijiye for example kya politicians apne constituency ke logon ke sath किसी चीज को एन बनाकर उसे डिस्ट्रीब्यूट कर सकते हैं क्या उसमें पार्टिसिपेटिव डेमोक्रेसी के लिए इस्तेमाल कर सकते हैं यस yes. क्या एथलीट्स और स्पोर्ट्स स्टार्स इसे यूज कर सकते हैं क्या टीचर्स एजुकेटर्स अपने स्टूडेंट्स के साथ इस किस्म का डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन मॉडल इस्तेमाल कर सकते हैं क्या यूनिवर्सिटीज एंड एजुकेशन इंस्टीट्यूशन इस मॉडल को अपना सकती हैं तो इसका जवाब है हाँ तो NFT की परिभाषा तब बहुत पावरफुल हो जाती है जब आप थोड़ा जूम आउट करते हैं और देखते हैं इट्स नॉट जस्ट लाइक यू नो मंकीज एंड कैट्स एंड ऑल दीज पिक्सलेटेड फोटोज बट इट इज अव वे ऑफ पब्लिशिंग कॉन्टेंट ऑफ डिस्ट्रीब्यूटिंग कॉन्टेंट एंड ऑफ मोनिटाइजिंग कॉन्टेंट इट इज ऑल्सो अ ब्रांड न्यू वे ऑफ एंगेजिंग विथ योर फॉलोअर बेस योर ऑडियंस बेस या आपकी कॉन्स्टिट्यूएंसी ऐसे जब आप देखने लगते हो तो एनएफटी का जो स्ट्रक्चर है वो बहुत पावरफुल दिखने लगता है नाउ लेट्स कम टू व्हाट एसेट मनी डज आप क्या sure. करने की कोशिश कर रहे हैं एनएफटी की दुनिया में फर्स्टली अमेजिंग इंडियन फाउंडर्स कंप्लीटली इंडियन टीम बिल्डिंग समथिंग लाइक दिस इन इंडिया फॉर द वर्ल्ड वेब थ्री की क्रांति क्रिप्टो की क्रांति इसी को हम कहते हैं थैंक यू सो हियर्स वॉट वी आर डूइंग राइट नाउ देर आर मेनी एन एफ अवेलेबल दे आर ऑल्सो अवेलेबल एट डिफरेंट प्राइसेज वे बिल्डिंग अ सिंगल प्लेटफॉर्म वे यू कम today getting a wallet or setting up a wallet is still quite difficult mm-hmm. you need to find a way ki aap aapka seed phrase save karke rakho wo aapka ghoom gaya to it's all over right how does that work what we've done is we've built a way in which you can sign in using google sign in using facebook so web it, web two gateways and it creates a wallet for you but you own the wallet completely okay and with that wallet now once you're here we also help you discover nfts which means you can come and say i want to discover by price and we help you find nfts from 50 dollars to 50000 dollars basis a bunch of stuff that happens at the back so we are able to go through all of that data and now tell you here are the 10 or 15 collections at this price point that is a great investment at this point of time or that is something that you can buy because you want to experience but a lot of data that happens at the back helps us choose which ones go there right so that's one The second one is once you buy it, आपने आज खरीद लिया. What do you do with it then? Mm-hmm. You can choose to sell it. We will tell you how much you should sell it at. Oh wow! If you choose to not sell it, we can tell you, hey, you can go stake it here and you might do some things with it. You can because you have this NFT, you also get certain benefits. Because you have this, you get certain whitelist. You can get access to X Y Z. All of that today is very very 
uh, difficult for a normal person to do. Correct. And we want to make NFTs as an asset class. Wow. Very, very accessible. So finding assets, buying them, selling them. Everything on a single platform is what we're doing at Asset. So before going, I want to know two things. Number one, क्रिएटिविटी के मामले में तो इंडिया पूरी दुनिया में सबसे आगे है तो एनएफटी के स्पेस में कौन से ऐसे आर्टिस्ट्स हैं या तो वो म्यूजिक डोमेन के क्रिएटर्स हो सकते हैं या एक्चुअल पेंटर्स आर्टिस्ट स्कल्प्टर्स हो सकते हैं कौन ऐसे अमेजिंग क्रिएटिव लोग हैं जिनको आप पसंद करते हैं जिनको आप ट्रैक करें जिनको हमारे ऑडियंसेस को ये नाम पता होने चाहिए बिल्कुल आई हैव एक्चुअली मेड अ लिस्ट बट ऑफ द टॉप ऑफ माय हेड वन ऑफ द इंडियन आर्टिस्ट दैट एवरीबॉडी शुड चेक आउट इज अमृत पाल Amrit was a product designer moved to NFTs not that long ago just over a year but Toy Faces is his uh, collection his, his collection if you see what is done across the world mm -hmm. including large brands as big as Adobe are now using that to show what can be done with digital assets wow. and it's done by Amrit who lives right here who's a great guy very very um, good at the art he makes but also a great artist amazing there is prasad uh, and a bunch of people may have seen prasad bhat's um, artwork he did a collection in the middle with salman and a bunch of those again he has a very unique way of creating art all right last but not the least aap kaun se nfts own karte hain aap kitne bitcoin own karte hain i know you've been in the crypto space for a while 2011 se i think you've been in bitcoin etc yeah. so talk to us about that early to 2011 2012 I was exploring what Bitcoin looks like. It was a game. Twenty eleven. Then yeah, so I mined a few, and then as with all things in life, I lost access to my uh, wallet. So I can see it every day, but I can't do anything about it. I laugh about it. Wait, so how many bitcoins did you mine that you can see? But you can't sell it or you can't do anything about it. I was going to say not a lot because I don't own it, but uh, yeah, they are there. Oh yeah, there you can see them, and those nobody will be able to own. It is, it there. is more than one, which is why he's saying <laughs> they are there. एक से ज़्यादा बिटकॉइन जनाब ने माइन किए हैं, लेकिन उसको कुछ नहीं कर सकते क्योंकि सीड फ्रेज़ गुम हो गई. Yeah. सारे परम्यूटेशन कॉम्बिनेशन कर दिए. No, no, these cannot be permutated. Oh these are my. gone. Means they're gone. नहीं नहीं सीड फ्रेज़ का परम्यूटेशन. Nothing, nothing. It's oh, gone. Oh, oh, But the oh. idea was that I was looking at it that time as a game. I then did fintech for a very long time. Early 2017, 2018 was buying a bunch of. very early nfts and top shots which is essentially on uh, basketball and things like that uh, over time over the last 2 3 years have bought a bunch of the original collections and then a bunch of new stuff that sort of come out but my the way i look at this is that every time i buy a project and i have a bunch of the cats uh, and things like that but the the reason to buy these projects is because it gives you access and then on the other side a bunch of very early artists who are just coming into the space and the idea is is there a way to put some goodwill and money back in that ecosystem and i've realized that when you do that a bunch of those artists also go back and buy from other artists wow it's, it's literally like picking a bunch of people and bringing them in beautiful. and saying let's do this together none of us know nfts kis disha mein jane wale hain but i think aaj ke episode se aapko ye to pata chal gaya hoga ki kya karte hain nfts क्यों इनका अस्तित्व है और क्या क्या रियल लाइफ रियल वर्ल्ड एप्लीकेशन हो सकते हैं बियॉन्ड जस्ट क्रिएटिविटी बियॉन्ड जस्ट फन एंड फ्रॉलिक एंड प्रोफाइल पिक्चर्स नवीन थैंक यू सो मच या दिस वॉज सच अ प्लेजर प्लेजर ऑल माइंड Lovely space. Thank you so much for watching. अगर आपको पसंद आया ये वीडियो तो फिर अपने तमाम दोस्तों के साथ शेयर कीजिए लाइक कीजिए नोटिफिकेशन बेल ऑन कर दीजिए एंड डोंट फॉरगेट टू सब्सक्राइब टू कॉइन्स विच यूट्यूब चैनल इट्स बिन प्लेजर टू ब्रिंग दिस एपिसोड यू क्रिप्टो प्रोडक्ट्स एंड एन एफ टीज आर अनरेगुलेटेड एंड कैन बी हाईली रिस्की देर मे बी नो रेगुलेटरी रिकोर्स फॉर एनी लॉस फ्रॉम सच ट्रांजेक्शन्स